Well, you're in perfect health. And you are pregnant. Five to six weeks, I'd say. Ellie, it'll be all right, okay? You're not alone here. You can, you can come stay at the flat. I mean, my house, the house, it's yours. And the babies? Yeah, and the baby too, it'd be great. Yeah, they couldn't say anything if we got married, could they? <laughs> That'd fix them. Married? Yeah. Well, let's do it. Let's get married. That's really sweet. I know you're trying to help, but there's no, not nothing. I love kids and I'm crazy about babies. You saw me with Noel. You're nutty. <laughs> you're crackers. You are, you're the nicest possible crazy person I know, but that's hardly. I really, 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 really want to help you. I really do. I care about you, Ellie. Heaps. Please marry me. I'm on my knees. <laughs> I couldn't. Couldn't what? Face another wedding. No problem. We'll just keep it nice and small and quiet. Or, or whatever you want. I mean, we'll just invite our friends. No, Steve. No what? No, no, I'm too confused. I don't even want to think about it right now. I know, I know it's a bit sudden and like it's really off the wall, but I think it's a really good idea. Trust me. We wouldn't have to move anywhere, and it would solve everyone's problems in one go. Boom. Think about it. Please. Okay. Here you go. Enjoy. Hey, Nick. You have to serene it. Yeah. She's over at the clinic doing the trolley rounds, but she won't be long, OK? Mm, what have you got there? Where? Behind your back. Nothing. Oh, no. <gasps> wow! Now, that's what I call really grovelling in style. Y you sure you don't want to leave a message? I recommend the future. Oh, he's slowed down, Nick. Oh, I'm sorry. Cut the mind boggles. Sorry, uh, what were you saying? Oh, about Mrs. K. I've uh, referred her to the neurologist. He's going to get back to me. Oh, fine. You know, you're doing a great job, Chris. I realise these are tough times for you. Uh, it's no fun being the local leaper. You know, I've noticed the number of hours you've been putting in, and I appreciate it, but it doesn't pay to bury yourself totally in work. No, I agree. In fact, I was meaning to ask if I could take a break. Sure, a couple of days wouldn't hurt. I can easily re-roster. I was thinking of six weeks. Six weeks? That's a long time. It'd be damn hard to get a good locum to replace you. There's somebody I need to see down in the South Island. It's very important, I, I really need the time. This wouldn't have anything to do with the change to your wedding plans. Mm. I saw my ex-wife, Melanie, for the divorce, and we've got things to sort out. We'll see what I can do. Thanks. I'd really appreciate it. Hope you wanted your usual. Oh, thanks, Gina. Thanks, Gina. So, uh, how's it going with you and Julianne? Oh, fine. And if people would stop worrying about our age difference, it would be a whole lot better. Well, oh, don't let them get to you. Why should I? They're only jealous. Kirsty, seen Serena? Yeah, a minute ago. Where? Right here, but I didn't see which way she went. My, these are beautiful. Who's the lucky lady? Oh, Nick, I didn't know you cared. I don't. Aren't they just glorious? Now, come on, Nick, let us into the secret. Oh, it's no secret, Marge. He's in love. Oh, how sweet. Isn't it? Nobody gives me flowers. I'll have these, then. Oh, I think we hurt his feelings. Did we? Hi, Kirst. Is Mike in? Um, I think he's over at the coffee shop. But it's Mike. Uh, yes, I think he yeah. is, yeah. I think he's... Can I wait? Yeah, sure, go. She McKenna's latest flame. Uh-huh. Very young. 
Ah, and there's a um, new load of timber due to arrive this arvo. Where's the best place to put it? Well, can't you keep it with the rest? It will be a bit of a tight fit. I was wondering... I'd rather it all stayed in one place. Fine. Was that all? Uh, no. I really enjoyed the barbecue. Thanks for inviting me. I enjoyed it too. Is there any chance we could see each other again? Maybe we could do lunch or something. I'd rather not discuss that here. I've got work to do, Mr O'Brien. Win some, lose some. Right, just try to keep it dry and remember the plastic bag in the shower. Sure. Oh, is this the third dressing? Yeah. Mm. One more visit should do it. Provided it's kept dry. Make an appointment at reception, Mrs. Gibson, please. So, how are you feeling now? Still pretty stunned. Mm, that's a lot to get to grips with. Yeah, there's another complication. And what's that? Steve Mills has proposed. Steve? Yeah. Hey, I know you're good mates and everything, but is he serious? He's manically so hot on the idea. He reckons it will solve all my problems. And what do you think? Well, I know it sounds crazy, but it'd be so nice for somebody just to look after me. And if I'm going to have a baby, it should have a father. I don't know. Um, it's not Steve's baby, um, and I've just broken up from Chris, and he's he's getting over Sarah still. <laughs> he just left on the idea. Mm, sounds like Steve. He's not coping very well with Sarah's death. How do you cope with something like that? Maybe wanting to look after you is his way of coping, giving himself something to live for. You think so? Could be. <sighs> what if I turn him down? Hey, that's his problem. He's big enough and ugly enough to deal with it. <laughs> Just don't get involved for the wrong reasons. Like? Pity. You have got enough on your plate. Oh, hi, Steve. Steve. Alison. What's this sitting next to me? Um... <laughs> Looks like a present. Wonder who it could be for. Can I sit down? Sure. It's for you. Well, it's for you until, you know, the... Steve. Go on, open it. It's a beer. See? Everyone should have one. And it's unisex, you see, so you don't have to worry about it being pink or blue or... Okay, okay, it's not for you. I know I said it was, but really, it's, it's for the baby. and then we're supposed to have kids later. I, I can't be having a baby now. I'm sorry, I'm really, really sorry. Can I get you anything else? A cup of tea, a glass of water? No, thanks. I mean, you upset you, Alison. I know. It's the last thing I wanted to do. Yeah, I know. I just want to make you happy, you know? I know. Look, we don't have to get married. I'll just be around. I'll be your friend. I'll, I'll, be, your, I'll be the kid's friend. I'll be your landlord. I'll be your tent. I'll... Please don't cry. Me crying next. Look, it's not just uh, marrying you. It's it's my whole situation. I've got so many decisions to make. And I never imagined that I'd have to do it alone. You don't have to do if it alone. I have the baby. I've got to take on the responsibility of bringing a life into the world. I don't think I'm ready for that. I've got enough to think about, Steve, and well, how your proposal was kind of the last straw. <laughs> yeah, Steve blunders in again. Big mouth, big feet. Oh. Big heart. It wouldn't work, Steve. We're not lovers, not really. Could be. No. <laughs> You're the best friend I could ever have. And I don't want to spoil that, all right? I won't be fair to you. You're not the father. Yeah. yeah, you're right. I'm still a kid. Can I keep the beer? <laughs> Will the shop take it back? No way. This beer's one of a kind, aren't you? Sure am, Stevie. <laughs> <laughs> so what's 
What's Chris think? He doesn't know. You're gonna have to tell him sometime. Yeah, sometime. Kirsty, how's it going? Fine. Until a minute ago, hello, Dr. McKenna. Kirsty. Well, I'm off to bed. I can't be late for work tomorrow. Good night. Night. She's not exactly happy about it, is she? I'd do the same for her. But it is awkward for all of us. Speak for yourself. It doesn't bother me. I am speaking for myself. Look, I really want us to spend the night together, but it's not fair on Kirsty. Oh, sure that. I'm a boss, for God's sake. Come on, let's go to my place, huh? We're always at your place. And besides, my clothes and makeup are here for the morning. I get sick of living out of a suitcase. Then bring some stuff over to my place. Oh, I'm still a hassle. What we need is a place of our own. Oh, hey, slow down. That's a bit major, isn't it? Oh, maybe. What do you think? It's a nice idea. But let's leave it a while. And that's what you want. Uh-huh. And I want you to stay the night. I can't. Mm. Not with Kirsty in the next room. Oh, she'll be asleep. I think I'd better go while I can still tear myself away. Uh, do you have to? Yeah. OK. Night. Sweet dreams. Mrs. Highsmith's ready to go home. Do you want to see her before she leaves? She understands about her medication? Yep, no problems. Fine, I'll see her in a minute. Uh, building going well, is it? It would appear. You seem to be taking your liaison role very personally. No, 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 I'm, I'm serious. I think it's a pleasure to see such a close working relationship. Don't you think so, Madge? There's a podiatry clinic on Friday Mills, a mere flick of the pen, and you could be working it. Right, places to go, people to see. Well, I think it's lovely that you found someone, and he's a perfect gentleman. Don't you think so, Kirsty? Who? Duncan. I wasn't aware we were conducting an opinion poll. Morning. 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 Anything for me? Yep. Mm, well, here we go. I feel sick. I did it. <gasps> Good news. Yeah, my exam results really high marks. Oh, congratulations. That should put you in suite with Michael. New contract, promotion, pay rise, the sky's the limit. What happened to your conspiracy theories? Uh, I may have jumped the gun. Carrie's just got her contract from, from what she says. It's a good deal. <laughs> well, she's no pushover. Quite. So maybe my worries were unfounded. Well, let's hope. Mumman? She's in her office. Oh, do you want your roses? We've kept them for you. Nah. Thank you very much, Mrs. Nielsen. Whatever happened to manners? So where are those notes you want me to have a look at? Mm, right here. Ali, how's it going? Fine, thanks. Uh, back shortly, Chris. What have I done now? I thought you might want to talk to Chris. No, you mean tell him? Not yet. You might pay to tell him sooner. Secrets don't achieve much in this sort of situation. Um, did you sort anything out with Steve? Oh, yeah, thank goodness. Oh, is he all right? Yeah, fine. Oh, well, it's something. Is it? I still don't know what to do. Chris might surprise you. <laughs> and what? Offer to marry me again? I don't even know if he really wanted to do that or if he was doing it just because of the baby. Even worse, he could like wait until after we married and then walk out on me. I'll never trust him again, Meredith. And I'll tell him when I've made up my mind. I'm not going to go running to him for help or advice or anything. I can do this by myself. Why don't you go and do something? Like what? Oh, I don't know. Study. See your mate. There's no one to see. Wish school would start. Pardon? Well, it gives me somewhere to go. I'm bored out of my skull. 
Nick, I've got work to do. I can't concentrate with you under my feet. Hi. I got a message to see Dr McKenna? Yes, go straight through, Jackie. Nick. Hi, Nick. Hi. Why don't you go and find your friends and all get bored together? What you mean, Serena? I can't. Stuffed it up pretty badly. Have you tried talking to her? Yeah, she wouldn't listen. Well, maybe you need to try a little bit harder. How? I don't know. You might just have to work this one out for yourself. Jackie, I had no doubts that you would pass with flying colours. You must be very pleased. Yeah, it was a tough exam. You're a credit to the clinic, you know. I think we'd better look at what we're paying you. You mean over and above the annual increment? Yes, of course. I wasn't expecting to be singled out. Well, let's just call it a skills-related increase. How does another $1,500 a year sound? <laughs> Fine. Good. I'll have the contracts finalised today. Uh, thanks. My pleasure and congratulations. Hey, what's in the basket? Builder's brains. <laughs> Where's our lunch? What are you? Go and get it yourself. <laughs> hey, Serena. What do you want? Can we go somewhere? Why? Well, to talk. Now, if you want to talk, talk here. What's the matter? Nothing, just... Who cares? Doesn't matter to me. I'm sorry. Yeah, right. Look, I know I was really pathetic and I stuffed up really badly, but... Well, I think you're cool and... I didn't really mean to... You know... No? To what? Hurt you. Look, I promise never to do it again if you change your mind and want to go out with me. You and all your mates? Yeah, you bet. No more lies? No, I promise. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Yeah? Yeah. But I, I really missed you. Perfect. <laughs> hey, hot romance, huh? Well, look, I'm really glad for you both, but we're a bit busy. Now, if you just let go of her hand for a minute, Nick, there's tables to be cleared and dishes to be done. Oh, which first? Tables, please. Okay. Hey, Gina, can I have a Coke? Got any real money? Sure have. <gasps> One doesn't ever cease. Help yourself. Don't say I'm not a good customer. Don't worry, I won't. Hi, mate. How's it going? I've been looking for you. Big concert. Me and Toast. Do you want a ticket? The whole crowd of us buying together so we get a discount. I don't know. I have to see what my girlfriend thinks. Oh, yeah. When do I get to meet this hot babe of yours? Well, any minute now. Hey, Serena. Her. I'm surprised you don't keep her on a leash. Pretend I didn't hear that. And it better not happen again. She's my girlfriend. You got a problem with that? Nah, man. That's cool. Hey, Serena. This is Simon. Hi. I've seen you round. Uh, how's it going? Good. Uh, Simon was just wondering if we can go to the Mutant Toast concert. Oh, yeah? Who's going? Well, just a group of us. Mm, sounds good. Well, I've got to keep moving. Nice to meet you, Simon. So what do you think? Very nice. Yeah? You live here? Why? Well, just interested. I don't know. Why are you thinking of buying it? No, 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 no. No, no. So what's the big secret? What are we doing here? Well, actually, I was thinking of renting it. What on earth for? For us. Us? Well, for you, actually. I'd just pay the rent. <laughs> you're joking. Oh. <laughs> you mean you'd seriously set me up in some dinky little townhouse so I can be at your beck and call? <sighs> well, that isn't... Exactly how I'd imagined it. Oh, isn't it? Look, 
I've got somewhere to live and I've got no intention of moving. If you want some, some bimbo to run around after, I suggest you get out there and find one. <laughs> you told me, you said you... Well, of course I did. Thank you, Jen. It's better be good news. I've got to stay inside with the bank manager these oh, days. Oh, don't we all? Especially nasty capitalist landowners. Go easy, Jake. I've only been a nasty capitalist landowner for 24 hours. You also went to house for me, party. When killer starts paying rent and I can afford balloons. Oh, cheapskate. Keep working, mate. This isn't a floor show. You reckon? She's better than Miss Peggy. Carrie, what can we do you for? Um, did you manage to get that timber stashed all right? Yeah, no sweat. Uh, I had more room than I thought. Good. Look, I've come to apologise. I was pretty unaccommodating yesterday. A bit of bad timing. I'm sorry, I put you on the spot. Oh. Serves you right. Is that offer for lunch still on? Certainly is. My place. I'll cook. Can I bring anything? Yep. Nice crisp Chardonnay. Fine. See you, Tim. Yes, we got a rise. Yeah, the base rate's up. Wait until you read the rest. What the hell? What's happened to penal rates? Down the dunny, same as maternity leave. Crazy. I don't believe this. We're supposed to do general nursing duties as well as theatre. Mm. Of course. Have you got a problem with that? Uniform allowance has been cut. What is going on here? Oh, boy. What? Nicola Austin, well, I kind of talked to her about uniform allowances. And I told her about the slack times on night shift. You know what's happened here? She sold us out. Yeah, but who was the one who told us to cooperate with her and has just landed a hot new contract? Burton. I reckon she's been in cahoots with McKenna over this whole thing. She's the one who sold us down the river. Is it you or is it me? Lately I've been lost, it seems I think the change is what I need. Yesterday's another place Just living for the times we've seen When the writing on the wall Says I'll be Shine and straight If you want to find a way Of searching for another world It's hard to see Shortland Street was made with the help of your broadcasting fee so you can see more of New Zealand on air.